said a bad guy. Yeah, chico. Yeah, chico. You talking to the bad guy. Tooth picking your eye. I'm that guy. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Something happened to me. Something happened to you, okay? What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Boz here on Smackin' World. I got a very special guest, Dante Dottiel, man. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Everything good. Man, yeah, Everything man. Good. It's good, man. I'm glad you came, man. I really appreciate your dad bringing you over here, man. Come on Smackin' World and talk some football and talk about your recruiting process. And this past year, y'all just won state championship. Let's start there, man. He, he goes, Dante goes to uh, Picayune High School. Man, tell us a little bit about your uh, state championship run this year, man. How'd that go? Feel good with the state championship, especially against the team that we lost right, two right. years. Was it about two, two three years ago? ago? Yeah, it was about two years lost ago. Lost to the same team and the win game MVP. Yeah, Feel good. Hopefully yeah. we go and win it again next year. Be a two-time state champ, two-time yeah, game MVP. Yeah, man, I hear that, man. I love that, Dante. Uh, y'all definitely uh did y'all thing up there in Hattiesburg at the Rock, man. Uh, one thing I want to ask you is about your head coach, man. Uh. Is it Coach, Coach Stagner? I'm going to make sure I say his Stagner. name. Stagner. Yeah. Coach Stagner, man. All right. Co Tell us a little bit about Coach Stagner, how his approach on the team. Well, you know, he's a uh, he a good coach. He yeah. definitely follows, you know, we got a tradition that we follow at picking him, but right. he had his right. own style to it. More, yeah. Yeah. you know, more strict style. And I think it worked. Yeah, it definitely you know, did. You get a state championship. Yeah, you know what I'm different. saying? We got our own program that we do as far as working out, okay. getting bigger, getting better. Becoming better football players, and you know, I think he came just like he came a long way as football players. He came a long way as a coach. Man, most definitely, man. Coach Lee started that tradition there, man. Coach Dodd Lee yeah. definitely was a tradition guy. Man, uh, ran that power eye, man. <laughs> like a lot of power football downhill, punch in your mouth. But man, to do that, you gotta have players, man. So tell us some top players that's returning from this state championship team, man. I know it's y'all, y'all loaded, y'all returning. Most most of y'all kids are coming back, so to tell everybody else who. We're gonna run that. And run the plays we do. Yeah. You gotta have a fullback. Yeah. A fullback, Darnell Smith. Darnell. Yeah, yeah. good fullback. Get out there, he block. He, he seen that run he had in the state championship yeah, he game, was, didn't he? He's toting that pill. Most yeah. different. Yeah, so yeah, me and you know, me and Chris in the backfield, yeah, yeah we both run that power real good. They got three headed monster back there, man. Oh, Y'all yeah. definitely can you don't it's we hard got to just key on you. We got a ninth grader coming up too, Darrell Smith. Yes. I Darnell remember Slick and Dave, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Slick and yeah. Dave, uh talking about y'all, man. We was on this show early in the year. And he told us about the ninth grade. He was talking yeah. about him. I was like, man, y'all really loaded, man. So running back university, running back RB yeah. university, man. Yeah. The pick of you, man. It really is, man. Y'all really doing y'all thing, though, man. Yeah. All right, man. So, um, so let's get let's just jump into recruiting, man. You yeah. probably being one of the hottest recruits in the state of Mississippi right now. Yeah. Uh, getting multiple offers every day. You literally got one before we got here. <laughs> you when you and your dad left the order is, man. And uh, I'm just really happy for you and your family, man. I tell, I talked to your dad uh, quite some time now, man. Yeah. Build, build a nice relationship. Man, your dad is really, you know, sticking his head out there for you, man. He's really making sure you're in position to, uh, you know, go to the next level. That's the most yeah. ultimate goal. So yeah. talk about how, how I feel to be recruited by Division One schools, HBCUs, man, uh, all different levels, man. So talk about it a little bit, man. I feel good. You know, finally get them power five offers, like my hard work finally paying off. Yeah. When you see some, when you see so many good players, you know, just go, you know, you see yeah. who play in the Power Five division and stuff, right. and see type of players, and you know, you've seen them players in person, the high school level, mm -hmm. and they just go to a community college. So, right, right, to right. be able to get the offers I do now and be able to help other players, mm -hmm. you know, I got to open the door for other players so they can get offers too and leave a legacy. So, picking you might be a place that you know a lot more college look at to different. offer kids. Oh, definitely, man. I, I, I love that attitude you have, man. You want to open the doors for kids in the Picayune area. Man, Picayune has always been rich uh, with running backs, man. Running backs, and now uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's probably one of the you know biggest recruits to ever come out of Picayune as far as running back. Yeah. Now, I know they had some tight ends back in the day when I played. It was a cat named Mick Cole yeah. played tight end with the LSU. Man, he was pretty good. Uh, I remember him. But running back is always being Picky Yoon's identity, and you definitely taking it to another level, man. I really love to watch you play, man. And we was look, we was on you, me and Ben. I'm gonna shout out to my boy, my brother uh, Bingo, man. We was on you before the college coaches was on you, man. We already knew that you was gonna be, and we ain't gassing you up or nothing like that. We just knew you was gonna be special, man. You were just getting better every week, man. So, what is that like? How do you, how do you, what's your workout words regimen, man? How do you get better every day? What are you doing every day to get better as a running back and a football player, period? 
Right at school, we have a we have a workout routine. Okay. You know, some, uh, some some a week we get go by weeks. We'll do you know five by five, ten eight six, gotcha. and three by three. And it's a certain workout program. And the computer calculates the weight that you do for each different set. I got you. So we have a workout program we do. You know, I'm a pretty strong dude. Yeah, man. I see. So I you. Live. Man, you look, hey, so man, you got a nice size on you, man. You so look big. You look big in person. Live heavy, <laughs> live heavy weights for a lot of reps. What's your max right now? On bench, yeah, three thirty-five. I got you. I got to get my. I'm, I'm close to three fifty. I got you. I Squat. Got you. I did about five twenty-five, and they stopped me. I think I get close to six hundred. They said they don't oh, even hurt myself. I want to put that six hundred <laughs> on the bar. <laughs> you trying to you trying to squat the field house as Coach Quavis used to say. Yeah, man, you trying to squat the field house, man. That's that's dope, man. Uh, man, I want to kind of go back to your recruiting, man. Uh, how did it feel to get that first, you know? Power five offer, man. How did that feel? Like, was that like a surreal moment Felt for good. you? It's kind of like a relief. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. My Twitter followers went from like 600 to 1200. It was oh, crazy. Wow, wow, wow. It was crazy. That's you know good, what I'm man. Started getting notoriety, then different schools started offering me. You know, brought more attention. You know, when you get that first power five offer, bring a lot of attention. So, so. When do you think you got? I know it's you got a whole year, man. When do you think you're gonna break it down to your top five? You know how people do that. Yeah. This is my top five school. This is my top three. You gonna do that? Wait till the after the football season, or are you gonna do it before? I don't know. It might be before, during, and after. I, I got it you. depends on when I get all the offers. Yeah. I think I really wanna have. I got you. Now I, got I pick you. that top five. So look, you gonna get only five official visits, man. So. That's something you gotta start thinking about. I know Pop's gonna be, you know, behind your corner helping you with in this, uh, you know, situation. This is a good situation to be in, man, because a lot of people don't get the, this opportunity. Yeah. And I want you to understand that too, man. I want you to understand, like, man, everybody don't get the opportunity to play Power Five or college football. Period. Yeah. Like, you, you really in a realm of where a lot of people don't get there. You in that one percent? I like to call college football. If you play on any level, college football. Period. Man, that's a that's a blessing in, in itself, man. So I'm just really looking forward to seeing what you're gonna do on the next level, but. That's the senior year coming up, man. Uh, so, what are some of your goals? That's what I want to kind of talk about. Rush. What's the goals for your senior year, man? Rush for over 3,000 yards. Uh, win a state championship again. Back to back. Win game MVP again. Gotcha. Win Mississippi Max Church Player of the Year again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be the man. only person that can say they won Mississippi Max Church Player of the Year twice. So, you want to leave a legacy behind for your family to be like, man, yeah, you yeah. know, I, I was one of the best to ever do it. Yeah. And that's good, man. I love that, man. You got that, you know, that 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 that, that confidence, and then you know, it, I'm pretty sure it wears off on your uh, yeah. teammates. And uh, they love you. They love you. I know your teammates love. I know one of you got this. Uh, I think you got the All American game. That you got yeah. an invite. Yeah. How was that, man? <laughs> Hey, I don't know, man. That's that's it, huge, man. That's a big yeah. deal. How was it? It felt nice. It felt nice. You know? Yeah. Oh, my favorite running backs to play at the game: Derrick Henry, Najee Harris. That's Adrian, why you went too. Is Adrian, that where, is that where the reason? Is that the reason you went too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Derrick, I might get dreads. I don't know. Oh, you gonna get the dread about me? <laughs> Derrick Henry. Yeah, he the reason I wear number two. Man, Derrick Henry's diff. So that's so it's that's stiff for him. Man, that's stiff on his neck. He got a nasty. He got nasty. I think I think I want to say it was this Gaucher. Just, oh, you talking? Right. Yeah, that was. Uh, sorry, Bingo. Uh, it is what it is. That's what he did on film. He, he, he Goshe like he like Goshe. He Bingo. went to Goshe, man. Oh, he, man. That, he's a he's a proud Goshe alone, uh, man. I don't think he wanted to bet on him. This, I'm gonna snip this part and mess with him, man. I don't think he wanna bet that no more. He, oh. I wanna bet on Vicky. I wish I wish he was here, man. But he he had some things he had to do, man. But yeah, man. Uh, you definitely did your thing over there, man. This year. Really looking forward. I know he's got more. You got more to come, man. So, before we even go on to college, man, what the grades like, man? What's 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 that, man? I got you got to make sure you handle business. Oh, what's your, what's three point five, three point six. I take okay. honors classes. Most definitely, man. Honors handle classes, business. You know, AP classes. Yeah. You know, to get some dual enrollment next year. Yeah. Be already enrolled. I'm already, you know, I'm be taking dual enroll. I got you. I think I'm probably springtime. I probably already be at college. I'm trying to be a true freshman. So you're gonna try to do the early enroll in December. You're gonna early sign, man. Yeah. That's that's good. I love that, man. You got your head on your shoulders. I ain't man. wasting no time. No, true, no, true you, freshman. The earlier you get in in them college programs, man, because right now you know true freshmen start now. You know because yeah. they're getting in in January and that spring and they get. But that running to start as the running back position, you gotta. You gotta bring it. You, you know that. Do. As long as you understand that, man, it ain't gonna be yeah. no slouch, especially on the D1 level, because it's already people that's just as good as you yeah. already there. So you understand that, man. You, but you, you look like you ready to take the challenge on. Is it, am oh I yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to come in now. <laughs> I'm ready to come in now. Go ahead and get that position. 
Man, I really know. I want to know where you're going to go, man. I, I, I just. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to know, know where you're going to go, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, day before sign day, I'm going to hit Pops up and say, man, where, where you going? I ain't going to listen, <laughs> I ain't gonna listen to the pool. I just want to know where your boy going, where your son going, man. That's going to be dope, man. I don't know if I'm going to commit. Well, uh, he commitment and like, look, but you gonna have to commit. Now look, you commitment just, and signing day is two different things, isn't it? Or well, as far as uh, like the early signing, like you know when they commit in December and they sign a letter of intent. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Yeah, from just what you just said. So you are gonna have to commit before December. Okay. On, on that day of December, on that day of signing day, they have a signing day period yeah. in December. You gonna have to you gonna have to tell everybody where you are going. What you gonna do? How you gonna do it, man? You gonna make the announcement? Know. Hopefully, on. Well, I'm going to All American. I know I'm All American Camp Series. I got you. 27th. So. I got you. I think I'm gonna make that game. Oh, <laughs> I think definitely. I'm gonna make the game. Oh, yeah. You keep you want over three thousand. I don't want to just I don't want to just be in the game. I want to be. You want to talk that pill. The player of the game. When they watch the game, they, it, they be like, "Who is this dude?" Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't just want to go. I don't never just want to be there. Man, most definitely, you're supposed to. Man. You're supposed so to I, might, I, don't I, love I, I love it. I love it. I don't know. You know, a couple players committed at the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to commit at the game or yeah. at the school. But might probably be. At you the got school. enough time, man. I don't. Even, I just be want to ask because, man, I got you here. I mean, it's really, uh, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate your dad letting you come on, man, because you know he didn't have to. You know, he could be like, I'm protect his son, but. Thank God that I'm a good person, and, yeah. and you know I, I got to talk to your dad, and he really feel comfortable to bring you on the show, man, and really learning a lot from you, man. I, I see it now. I, got, I always saw the kid with the helmet on. Now I got to see you with the helmet off. <laughs> you really, you really happy kid, man, and, and you really doing your thing, man. Everybody's Coach Boz here, I'm founder of Smack'em Athletics, Smack'em World, and also co-host of Boz and Bingo. With my good friend Seneca Hampton, Coach Bingo. What's up, Coach? What's up, Coach Bingo? So we have a show where we highlight high school and middle school athletes. But right now it's football season, and we've been covering all over the all over the coast and uh, keeping the fans, you know, in tune with what's going on. And we got basketball season coming up, so we're pretty much getting excited about that as well. Along with the Street Geeks, our ultimate goal is to make a positive impact around the community around us. We're asking for a donation in exchange for advertising your business and your products on our show. With your help, we know we can make a positive impact around the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast. If you have any questions, contact streetgeeks.com. Either you can call Coach Bingo as well. Hey everybody, it's your boy Coach Bingo back with another week of Smack em Top Performance. Hey Chico, talking to the bad guy. Hey Chico. Yeah, Chico, you're talking to the bad guy. Choose picking your eye. I'm that guy. Hey, y'all. Hey, yo. Something happened to me. Something happened to you, okay? All right, Dante, now we got spring coming up, man. Are you going to take any spring visits this year? Or, or, or where would you be interested to go to visit some college campuses for the spring? Well, I have visits set up right now for uh, Florida State, Oregon, and Boston as of right now. You know, that's, that's unofficial. Gotcha. You know, you have to take the unofficial visit oh, before yeah. the official visit. Right, so. right, right. Yeah. You right. Look, which one are you looking forward to, to the most? I don't know. Like, I don't know if you ever been, like, further, you know, far travel because, you know, a lot of people don't get to travel like that. Well, what's, so is Boston pretty much the furthest you ever traveled or you been anywhere I've never, else? I've never been in Boston. Gotcha. I've never been in Boston. I've been in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Not Tallahassee, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should enjoy that. Tallahassee is a nice campus. I've never been to Boston myself. Uh, oh, you you seen the Oregon campus though? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oregon, Oregon. I just, I just, that I just, Oregon campus. You gonna love that one. I man. just want to see what it look like. Yeah, know? man. Yeah, just take that visit. That's a visit. That's a good visit. Man, listen, man. I uh, I put my dad on the show probably a couple of weeks ago. Man, it really mean a lot to me. I want to ask you what your dad mean to you, man. Well, without him, you know, I wouldn't be able to get recruited right now. You know, a lot of. Well, that's why a lot of players from high school probably haven't been recruited. You know, they had nobody to push the film out and do what it takes to get their uh -huh. kids to the next level or not understand uh -huh. what it took to get their kids to the next level. Yeah, damn. Shout yeah, out man. to Dad, man. Definitely putting you in position, man. But well, I ain't going to hold you any longer, man. What we do, man, we ask the athletes, man, to get look right at the camera. Get some motivation. <laughs> get oh, some motivation man. to the kids. It's, remember, remember, Dante, he was a kid. You was probably like, let me say, were you about 17 now? Yeah. So, 10 years ago. Who was the man 10 years ago? 2011. I don't know. Who was, who was the top running back? Who you like 10 years ago when you were seven? Marshawn Lynch. 
So any reason I play running back six, like that. So that's huge. Asian so, Peterson to you, that's man. Look, look, that's so, man. So that's, that's a big deal. So it's a kid that's gonna watch this video. Man, get them some motivation on why they should never quit, on, on, or just, just simple motivation. You know, I mean, if you want to play football, you gotta stay in school. You gotta have them grades up. You ain't grades up, coach gonna turn the other way. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on grades, working hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't just compare yourself to the people on your team. Work harder than try to work the hardest in the nation, and don't let nothing slow you down. Like last year, mm -hmm. I broke my wrist. Mm -hmm. And nobody know who I was last year. Right, right, right. Now I remember you got hurt. Now I'm probably number one running back in. I, I think I'm the number one. That's what you're supposed to say. Tell, number one, tell the camera that. Number one player in Mississippi. Come on, I'm man. I'm number one player in Mississippi. Yeah, first, number yeah. running back in the nation. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't, live it, don't never let nobody doubt you or tell you what you can't do. Don't let nothing slow you down. Man, so that's, that's my and you heard it here first on Smackin' World, and then Mr. Dante or Dodow. Do ah, what the fuck is that? Dodow. What was it? What is that? Dante. Dot L. Did I say it right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going to make sure we say it right, man. But thank Dante. Appreciate you coming here, man. It's Coach Biles on Smackin' World. See you next time. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Chico. Yeah, Chico. Yeah, Chico. I'm that guy. Hey, y'all. Something happened to me. Something happened to you, okay?